Hey guys, so welcome to a favorites video, May favorites. I dyed my roots last night. I have filmed a clip explaining like kind of how I did it, what I use because it's something new and et cetera, et cetera. I do not particularly enjoy how my hair looks right now because I, you know, dyed it last night and I washed it. So freshly washed hair never really looks that amazing, but uh, I do enjoy the root cover up situation. Okay, so this is a favorites video. I don't have that much stuff, but I have stuff that I really like, obviously. So this is the SkinCeuticals Physical Diffusion UV Defense Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 50. This is the tinted version. The non-tinted version is just as good as this. However, this does have a slight tint, hint of white cast on me it's not particularly bad i put a foundation on and it looks great this actually tints in a way where if i just use some powder and some concealer i really don't need to put a foundation on it it does have a silicone -y feel to it but it hasn't broken me out which is very rare that is the number one reason why i don't wear sunscreen every day not because i don't want to protect my skin it is because it doesn't layer well under makeup. This looks really good under makeup, this one and the non-tinted version. They have come out with a very new product that will brighten your skin. Uh, I will do a video clip in a vlog soon because I've gotten a lot of skincare PR lately and I've been trying stuff out and I've gotten a particularly large amount of, say, like sunscreen SPF products. So I really wanna delve more into it and give you a more descriptive opinion but I like this a lot. It looks great under makeup. I feel super protected. On top of that, this was the impetus for starting to use sunscreen. I've worn sunscreen every day for two weeks now and that is something I don't do. I like maybe wear sunscreen a couple times a month and then I use a lot of say like a BB cream or foundations with SPF, which I know does not mean I'm actually wearing SPF. So my friend who is an esthetician, was just texting me and telling me how good her skin has been looking because she has been consistently wearing SPF. And she's like, it's so much better than if you were trying to help your skin with like vitamin C's during the day and retinols at night. And I'm like, it's like a light bulb went off. Like this makes complete sense, obviously, because I tend to use a lot of vitamin C's during the day and I use a retinol at night or a glycolic acid or a heavier, stronger vitamin C. I feel like I'm undoing the damage from not wearing sunscreen. I know guys, this is mind blowing for me. It's such a simple concept. But when I do wear sunscreen and I am protecting my skin, my vitamin C's work even better. My actives work even better. My treatments work even better. And anyway, that's the spiel on SPF. I've also been loving the Obagi Medical Physical Defense SPF 50 PA plus 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 it is a mineral sunscreen this is a tinted moisturizer in a way i put this in a cushion because it's very watery very runny when i apply this on my skin and with a little bit of powder i just feel like my skin looks so good the tint of this is perfect for my skin tone i'm around a nc 20 to 25 like not quite a 20 but also not quite a 25 i'm probably somewhere in between so so good on the skin and it doesn't leave a white cast on me at all this one some tints really or some sunscreen spf tints are really good and a lot of them for me <laughs> are not good because they leave more of like a pinky cast and if you are cool tone they probably work great for you but as a general rule in the past i feel like sunscreens because of the white cast have always leaned a little more beigey pink and less you know warm so i'm really happy that there's more products on the market that have more of that warmer tint to it okay for foundation today i have on the tom ford traceless soft matte in the shade 2.5 linen this is by far hands down right now the best all season foundation for me i wear this in the winter i wear it when it's warm right now and it has really great staying power it's just my favorite it leaves a natural finish it's not glowy it's not matte um, your oils can come through throughout the day and you will get shiny in the t-zone if you're like me and you're just that's where you get shiny but love this been using this a lot I've also used the matte velvet skin from makeup forever a lot this is in the shade y225 it's generally my shade in makeup forever the powder is y225 I believe 
the Reboot foundation I have is Y225 as well as the new Water Tone. I haven't even had a chance to really test that out, guys. It'll probably have to be more like when it cools down. Right now we're moving into the heat and it's super bright today. So if at any point I look like I'm <laughs> not really focusing, on, it's, it's so, 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 so bright. This is more definitely matte. I don't need to powder this. I might lightly dust powder, but it's not, ugh, I have an itch. It's not super necessary, so I've been loving this one. Okay, so other complexion products. Concealer-wise, I've been using, well, corrector-wise, the Moonshot Dark Spot Concealer in the shade 203. I purchased this last year, I think, and I used it on and off, and then I started moving on and trying a whole bunch of other correctors. I'm back on this. In fact, today I use this as my concealer only, uh, concealer and corrector. If I would have put a concealer on top of it, I'd look much brighter, but what I was kind of lazy today. I just didn't really, I don't really feel like it. So this I'll apply just like right here, and then I'll layer my concealer on top of it, and I'll blend the whole thing out all at once, like both of the products. Today I have just this on. I went to see if I could find this as a non-corrector, like as a concealer. I looked on Yesta, I don't see it there, but I will try and find other websites that have this. I tend to go to YesStyle by default when I'm looking for K-Beauty because I feel like they carry one of the most comprehensive type, what's the word I'm looking for, stock availability that ships to the US. On days when I'm trying harder, I will apply the Clarence Instant Concealer in number two on top of the corrector. I forgot how good this concealer is. It's very liquidy. It has a bit of a peachy tint to it, so it's brightening even though, so when I show you swatches, you're gonna see how kind of orangey peachy these are, but they just disappear under my eyes and completely correct everything. Love it. It's a, again, a thin liquidy, texture with medium coverage. So this is so good. And you get 15 mils of product. This is a lot of product for a concealer. Lastly, this was something I got in my BoxyCharm this month. I think I might cancel my BoxyCharm for next year. The one huge, huge, huge benefit is being able to shop the pop-ups and the kind of monthly sales. I have to like weigh the cost and benefit of being able to purchase things at a discount even though I pay around 200 something for the 12 boxes a month or whatever. I don't know. We have to see. We have to see. This is the Tarte Shape Tape Glow Wand. I have this in the shade Dream. I had picked up a lighter shade like from Ulta last year maybe. And I wanted to use it as a dupe for the Rodeo Banana Low Lighter because I love using that as like my highlight down the nose and on my cheekbones. They've come out with a peach low lighter. I'm just kind of waiting for someone to have a sale so I can buy it. Or maybe when it comes to skin store, I can then use like 25%. I don't know. I'm just like waiting because it's like $45. So this is a shade darker and I love it because it blends right into my skin. I have it down the nose. I have it on the heights of my cheekbones, but I feel like we are getting washed out a little bit and the sun is like higher and higher, higher in the sky as we are filming, so you probably won't see it that well. It's such a natural, beautiful, beautiful highlight. It has a sponge. Oh, actually it's kind of soft. Oh, and it comes out. I haven't used this yet, I need to. I just assumed the sponge would be like really stiff and it's not. Does this make you feel weird? Okay, anyway, yes, complexion. Okay, so here are swatches, that's the Moonshot. Dark Spot Concealer, that's the Clarins Concealer, and this is the shade Dream from Tarte. Let me see if I can like blend it out so you can kind of see the glow. Okay, are we seeing it? Probably not. I like cut myself and burned myself, so not the best situation. Okay, so I'm not even gonna pretend like I really am putting anything else on my eyes besides the Bobbi Brown Camel Shadow. <sighs> Now that this is back in my life, it's been about a couple months. I, by default, just re it blends so easily. Just can't even, can't even, can't even communicate to you guys how much I love it. It is so good for my skin tone. It blends out so easy. The color is so good. It just, it's how I want my eyes 
to look on a daily basis. I can do a smoky eye with it by using more dense brushes with less dense brushes to blow it out. I can do a really natural looking eye where it just looks like I have like a shadow and like a nice framing to my eyes. Today I used, um, after I applied my mascara a little bit, I like did a little smudgy smudge. So all I have on here is Bobbi Brown Camel. I have it very lightly on top just to give myself a little bit of shape. But on the lower lash line, it's just... And we have some MAC Costa Riche in the waterline, but it just does really beautiful things. It has like that slight yellow tone or like intense deep yellow tone that brings out like the golden tones in my eyes. Blush of the month is NARS Taj Mahal. I know. A blush has made it to the favorites but it really it's so pretty I have it on with all the other things I'm gonna show you I have most of the stuff on my face obviously so we have this here and here we have a little bit on the center of the nose but not too obvious this is the Revlon bronzer this is in the shade sun-kissed beam it is so good the tone here is so good it has a little bit of glow I just think it looks so natural and beautiful the Misha Cotton Contour. This is this has never really gone out of the favorites, but I have just been reaching for it so much more. When I'm doing a glowy bronzer, I have to do like a contour. It just, I don't know, I just, I love the way it looks. Okay, also on the contour front, this is the Illamasqua Gel Sculpt in the shade Silhouette. I have it on here. I sometimes will do my whole face with it and blend it out, but this is so flawlessly beautiful if you like no makeup makeup you need to jump on board with this they have lighter shades and kind of warmer shades that you can make it look like bronzer but overall this is like my favorite one this is in the shade silhouette right along the same lines in a similar tone is the pacific coast bronzino bronzer from tower 28 it's the darkest shade they have but it looks so good as a contour and I will give you swatches right now. NARS Taj Mahal, the Revlon Bronzer, the Misha, this is Bobbi Brown Camel, this is the Tower 28, and this is the Ilmasca. Okay, so we're gonna talk about this again just as a shout out because this is the Real Techniques Light Layer Blush Brush. I use it for bronzer, <laughs> so good. Again, if you are heavy-handed or if you don't know how pigmented something is. This is such an excellent brush. I'm gonna get another one. I just feel like I need it to be in the rotation because I use it so often. And brushes like this, i.e. like brush brushes that have a wider disbursement of bristles, like there's a lot of, they, you, you need to, you need to have another one. Otherwise they get gunky real fast, but so good for bronzer. Bronzer, 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 and contour, but mostly for bronzer. Lip products, I have, products you've probably seen before but my favorites are my favorites the sephora melting lip click this is in the shade caramel and this is in the shade cotton candy i started picking this one up in the last vib like rouge sale so good because again like pink now at first i thought this was like as pink as i would go but this is like a lighter like medium baby pink and i also really like this the nars afterglow lip balm in laguna i've used a good amount of this I love when I can show how much I've used. <laughs> anyway, this is a very light shade. I will give you swatches. It just feels like a really pretty lip balm. These, mm, what's the word? The quality, I think, of these varies by shade. I think the lighter colors, if they're not clear and do give off some pigment, they don't look as smooth on the lips. Like, it won't hide anything. Like, it'll emphasize like a little flake here and there the darker shades like this one which is really not even that dark these i think do a better job of camouflaging lines or dark not dark dry flakies the huda beauty lip contour 2.0 in the shade honey beige is what i have on and then i have the nars afterglow balm on top of it i haven't been so into lip liners i've been very stuck on the pat mcgrath and the patrick ta and the charlotte tilbury for years i think until this one kind of came along i also really love the melt ones the melt and m cosmetics are also really good i just i become very dedicated to lip liners this is a new love i have ordered two more there's a really good sale on cult beauty i'll probably do a haul for that at some point 
but very very good it's i think is this the lightest shade they have it might be i don't know but it has like a really pretty peachy warm undertone that i like and lastly are the nars orgasm and laguna they're the oil infused tinted like balms the reason I love these so much is it's moisturizing, it's pretty, it looks really good on the lips, but on top of that, because it's a tint, it leaves a stain. So you're telling me that something is both moisturizing and will leave a stain on my lips, I am here for it. This combination with the Huda Beauty lip contours, they're so long wearing. They're creamy and they're long wearing, which again, weird combination, but what we want, right? So that and this, so good. It's basically what I have on the lips today. Sephora Caramel, Sephora Cotton Candy, Nars Laguna Afterglow Balm, Nars Laguna Oil Lip Tint, and the one in Orgasm, and that is the Huda Beauty Honey Beige. I have Sandy Beige, it's a little darker, a little cooler tone. This is what I go for on a daily basis. Okay, so those are my May favorites, 2021. There's no like new body care that I'm really obsessed with that I had to share with you. Candles are the same. I do have two candles incoming, so we can talk about those when they get here. And I think that's really it. I don't know. Share your favorites down below or let me know what you are like really vibing as we go into summer. Because usually I would be like really into like looking at sunglasses, which I really haven't been. I'd usually be really into like looking for like nice body products that make your skin glow a little more. Not really into that. I've been kind of like meh on like the, like yeah, summer I'm excited, but I'm like, I don't know, maybe clothing. I want like summer clothes that are cute. I haven't really found anything or been into anything like, anyway, I don't know. I will talk to you guys and see you in the next video.